This is a simple little car. I saw a version of it on BHQ. I don't know if it was Ralph Dewey or who made this originally. This is my adaptation of it. I've got two balloons. I've got a 260 inflated with about a three and a half inch tail. If you're using Qualitex, it's a 350. If you're using Vitalitex, it's a 360. Take your pick. A black. That's going to be the wheels. So we're going to start with our 260. Make a little half inch bubble. Make that a pinch twist and make sure when you make this pinch twist that you grab the knot and twist it, not just the end of the balloon. That will lock it in and ensure that it will stay nice and flat like that. Now you're going to make about a four and a half inch bubble. We're going to make another little pinch twist. Four and a half inch bubble, make that into a pinch twist. Then come back up alongside it and twist back into that first pinch twist. So you've got a big foot. Now you're going to come down about an inch, bubble, make another pinch twist, half inch bubble, pinch twist. If you haven't figured that by now, I like pinch twists and use a lot of them. They're very handy for shaping things. Now, this next bubble, you can make it about the same size as that. Sometimes I make it slightly shorter, personal preference. Another half inch bubble, and again, a pinch twist. Now you're going to make another bubble about the same size as that one and come back up to this other pinch twist that we have on the top one. That's the main body of your car. What you have left over, you're going to reach up and hopefully you have a little bit left on the end of nipple left over. Poke that down through the double one that we made at the first and then grabbing the excess you have. Where it comes up from here, you're going to go up, tuck through, and then go to this very opposite pinch twist over here so it's coming from that corner down to this corner. And just twist that into that pinch twist there. That is now the main body of your car. We're going to set that aside. And this is where the real fun begins. If you haven't done a lot of tulip twists, deep apple twists, deep tulip twists, you're going to have fun here. So what I'm going to do is I've got my 350 or 360 and I'm going to go down Toward the nipple end, or the nozzle end, nipple end, I'm sorry, and pinch off. This is going to be what I'm going to use to tie, because what I want to keep is this bubble on the end here. So I'll twist that, and then I'm going to take this piece off, what I have, that, and this. I'm going to cut it off, being sure to hang on to everything, and then I'm going to let that go down. So it's about an inch and a half or so. Tie that off, making sure we have that excess on the end. Now for this other one that we have that I'm still holding, I'm going to go down here, twist the bubble on this end, and then let go of that. And then again let that go down until it's about the same size as that one. Then come out here a couple of inches, tie it off. Go ahead and cut off that excess if you like. This one is always a fun one if you mouth inflate because now it's going to be a little moist on the inside. It makes it slippery. But what you're going to try to do, get that knot. You want to position it on the very end of your finger. And then push it all the way through until you're pushing the knot into this uninflated portion here. And I reach through from the outside, grab the knot, and then back your finger back out and then spin it a couple times. Now the knot, as you can see, is right there. Push the knot back in the middle. And now we're going to take this, which as you can see is now a tulip twist on both sides, or a very deep tulip twist, and divide that into two roughly even bubbles. And you can kind of work it back and forth to get them balanced. And that's going to make your pair of wheels. As you can see we've got two there. Now you're going to take this, poke it into this opening in the bottom here, and it doesn't matter which one you do first, I'm going to go ahead and go to the front. Once you poke it in, then you want to pull it up so that the twist in the middle is up at that front pinch twist. Pull it all the way up through, and then I'll grab everything, both wheels and that pinch twist, and spin it around once, now it's locked into place. There's one set of wheels. Now we're going to repeat the same process of what we have left over. So I'll grab the knot, 
end of your finger all the way through till you get to the uninflated portion. Grab it and pull your finger out. And again, you can see the knot is right up in there. Spin it around and then push it back into the middle. Split this into two again, just like the other one. Two wheels. And then into that midsection again, just like before. And now go to the other pinch twist. And again, just grab the entire thing. Spin it around once. And there you have a little car.